Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to say this afternoon, today is um, August 6, 2018. Um, you know, sometimes in life, you know, you push away people, but you don't mean it intentionally because you're going through such a spiritual growth, such a spiritual evolution that things that you didn't see before now you see you hear and you feel and when you are so in tune with god you are in tune with things of this world that sometimes scares you or follows you making sure that you don't educate people or you don't bring them closer to god or give them knowledge of god that sometimes it's not that you want to stay away from people it's just things that make you fearful of what you're feeling that people just don't understand so they tend to think that you are pushing them away, you won't, don't want to be around them, or you're ignoring them. It's just not that. It's just sometimes that when you give yourself to God in such a way that you open yourself and you have a, a life purpose or a life mission in this world, the devil doesn't like it. And I didn't even know that things like this exist in the world because once you serve the world, you're not paying attention to what's in this world until you put yourself out of it and you start serving God. And once you start serving God, you start realizing there are evil forces in this world that are against God and against people teaching the word of God. And it's sad because, you know, I know sometimes family members, they love you and they want to hear from you, or sometimes people want to hear from you. And sometimes, you know, it is not nothing against them. It's just what you're going through your spiritual growth and you're getting closer to God and you know people don't understand that you know sometimes in life things change you know change for the better change for many different aspects in your life and people don't know how people just don't understand how you're feeling ever since you gave yourself to God and the emotions that you feel spiritually that people don't understand that when the devil's out to attack you because you have a mission or purpose for God the devil don't like it. He's 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 an ass wife. So he becomes very evil and malicious and he uses demonic forces or he uses whatever he can to put fear in you, to to make you fearful of not doing what you're supposed to do. And you know, I have learned that I have to fast to ask God to give me spiritual strength. Because it is scary to see demonic forces or something in a dra in a black cape. And is burnt and ugly, looking like a demon. You know what's that to see a demon walking from your living room to your dining area, following you in a black cape, and it's burnt looking with a star on his head. That is very scary. You understand? And when, and when I see this white man dressed in a suit with this demonic entity, and it's just so overwhelming. You don't understand that sometimes when you see stuff like this, you're like, wow, God really does exist. Because if I'm having such a war with the devil, it's because I'm doing something right that the devil hates. And most people don't see this. Only people that really open themselves in a spiritual way with God, that God has a calling, such a strong calling for you. That the devil is trying to do everything in his power to scare you off. He's trying to buy you out, give you money, give you this, give you that. And the more you say no, the more aggressive the devil gets. And this is why I want to stay alone because I just feel that I know my God is going to do what he needs to do for me. I know that I'm going to be where I need to be with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit. I know that the devil wants to destroy me. The devil wants any, any way that he can take me off the path of God. You know what I mean? To serve the world again. But now that you know, you can't serve the world no more because you already know. You understand? And it's hard. You know what I mean? Because when you're serving God and now you know that the devil exists, who wants to serve the world once you know God exists? You know what I mean? And you know the enemy exists. So it's hard for you to go back to the way you was because you're afraid now. You see the truth. So... You know, it's just, it's so difficult, you know, and it's hard to explain to family members because they don't know, they're, they're not there with God. Until they don't go through the same experiences, then they will understand exactly what you feel, you know. But with that being said, shalom, have a happy um, Monday. I was going to say holy day, but you know, every day is a holy day of the most high God. But with that being said, I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later.